I want to start talking about the look of Dune, the lighting, the camera choices, lenses, all that fun stuff. And I want to begin with a question that we got from Instagram from uh, Domingo Sheik. Uh, he asked, how, do you, uh, how did you get that gorgeous soft top light? How many layers of diffusion did you use? Um, yeah, I mean, when you watch this, there's a softness to this in such a harsh environment that is kind of unique. Like you almost expect when you're in the desert to have so like a really hard, heavy, heavy, heavy light because that's what you would expect in our world. But in mm. the Dune world, it's, it's soft in a way that almost draws you in. And it's, I saw it throughout the entire piece. And uh, I think that's a great question from Domingo. So thank you for the question and curious what your answer is. Well, I mean, it's hard to be specific because that's, you're right. Broadly, there is a certain soft light. And that comes from, uh, it's motivated by the fact that inside the residence, inside the interiors, there's no direct sun. The, 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 the place is built not to have direct sun because the sun's harsh and the lack of water. And like, so if you were building uh, buildings in that environment, you would make sure that yes, you don't maybe don't have lights inside, but you have light wells. So you might have big openings that get the sun, but they bounce through these light wells. Mm. And so that was the kind of motivation is that everything that's inside is soft. It can be directional as in it's got edges to it. In fact, it should, but it can be soft edges and soft direction. So how many layers of diffusion? That was a very, <laughs> I can't tell you because every, every situation was different, but there was clearly an overriding level of softness that we were aiming for, that, yeah. that we either kept adding diffusion to. It's very much like some of these sets, these are some of the biggest sets I've shot. So, so going back to what you said before about scale yeah. um, and size, like I, I walked in to this particular stage in Budapest, stage six it was, and it's 140 feet. It's a football field long, the whole wow. thing. And the set was in one long corridor, one big open wide corridor. Yeah, I, can't, I, I won't lie to you and tell you that I was like, yep, yeah, got this. No worries. I know exactly what I'm doing here. I know how to light it because I didn't. I had no idea how to light it. And we did test after test after test. We, we did mock-up pieces. We got lights in from London. We, like, so between um, Jamie Mills, my gaffer, and Christian, who's a Hungarian gaffer, we just tested every conceivable light source to come up with that right feel because there's a certain direction to it, a certain sharpness to it, but it has to be a soft direction as well. Mm -hmm. So it was very much trial and error, very much trial and error. Where'd you land on it? Were you going through all well, those tests? Well, we used LEDs. We used uh, color changeable LEDs, either um, uh, digital Sputniks or, or, or cream sources or... or um, Space Forces, I think. Uh, uh, but we ended up using directional LEDs. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm a big fan of directional LEDs that have focus and have spot to them, that have mm -hmm. sharpness to them, despite what I've just said about softness. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing about that is you can then soften it slightly. You can then add a degree of softening to it, and then it has that nice roll-off. My concern with soft lights, soft any soft lights, is that you don't have any opportunity to sharpen them up. So there's a very fine balance. My eye's quite sensitive to, to lights that are too soft. It mm. feels too manipulated or too, too lovely, too pretty. You know, mm. like there's a certain, there's got to be a little bit of edge to it, something. There's got to be a something to it. So we learn in different ways, different degrees, different, different diffusions. And, you know, but, your, different but your preference is to have that kind of like LED Fresnel, I guess, for lack of a better term, just something that you can, that you can shape and then are you throwing that through diffusion? Are you bouncing it? No, I'm going through diffusion most of the time. I would love to bounce it a lot of the time. I, I, book lights are fantastic. Yeah. But I don't think we had the level or we had the amount of lights to do that. And also mm. I think when I found when I bounced it, it didn't have the direction that I wanted. So they're not, they're not Fresnels though because unfortunately there's only a couple of LED Fresnels like the Orbiter. And sure, yeah. The, the Orbiter didn't exist um, in its current form when we were shooting. So, you know, the lights we were using, the digital Sputniks uh, primarily, they have, they have a degree of focus. They're not focusable, okay. but they have a degree of sharpness to them. If you point them on a wall, you can see where they fall off. They're not just some innocuous kind of blah light. They have a, they have a degree of, sh of sharpness to them. 
So because of that degree of sharpness, then it's up to me, but how soft I make that. So, you know, me and my team, of course. Sure. But but then I can, I'm not, I'm not stuck with a, an automatic softness that is built by the manufacturer. Mm-hmm.